my name is Hans Asusius. I'm the owner of Austral Piano World. My first experience with pianos was when I was taught piano by an excellent piano teacher back in Amsterdam in Holland, who also had a piano shop. So from a very young age, from about nine years old, I was in amongst pianos. All people that come in have got different needs. Some people buy pianos for their children to learn on. They want something reasonable that the child can learn properly. Tune to concert pitch, preferably, so their hearing is trained. The touch not too heavy, not too light, so they can, the dexterity in their fingers grows properly. Then we have people that already play. They're buying their second or third piano and they want something special. So they may move from a Japanese piano into a European piano that was traditionally built according to ancient traditions. My favourite piano is probably Beckstein. There is something magic about Beckstein. We had a person come in last year and she said, oh, my grandmother owns a Beckstein, my mother owns a Beckstein, now I need one. People buy a piano because they can relate to it. They know it's something that's going to give them a lot of pleasure. They want to listen to it. They want to express their, in a way, their own emotions through music. And you can play jazz, you can play classical music, so it's a way of expressing oneself. We have a strong European presence. Uh, we've got the Seiler pianos, the Becksteins, the Hoffmans, the Furics, some really good brands. We have a Kawai premium selection room in the corner where all the new Kawai pianos are available, the new Japanese pianos, and they start roughly around about $6,000 for a brand new Japanese piano. In the old days, people bought player pianos. We now have a system which is called the IQ system. So now all the programs for the self-playing pianos, we can now put on an iPad. So you touch the tune you want on an iPad and it'll play. That's basically an IQ piano. The most satisfying thing in selling a piano to somebody, I guess, is seeing the kids all excited when they get their first piano or we see someone that found their second piano and say, oh, this sounds really nice. This is what I've always been looking for. And they're happy and have people leave with a smile on their face. That's what makes me happy. We're very lucky. We have a very good team here. Yeah. We all enjoy it. We like, we, we like music, so it's a lot of fun. Most pianos will last 40 to 50 years. The ones that are worth spending money on after 50 years are good quality European pianos because normally after 50 years, they need to be re refelted and restrung. So the only pianos that we restore are the old Steinways and the old Bo Bosendorfers or Bluthness or pianos of really good quality, where we can devote some time to import the right conforming parts to go into these pianos and f bring them back to their former glory. But I only select few every year because it's very time consuming, but that's part of the joy of being in the industry, finding a real gem, turning it back into its former glory. We've been here for such a long time, I could modestly say we've built up quite a goodwill. Often people walk in and say, oh, so Mrs. Harris bought a piano from you three weeks ago and I want the same thing. Or six years ago we bought this piano and our friends have come with us to look at your piano. They come here because they realise we know pianos, we understand pianos. We don't spin them a story. We can give real value for money without the risk of buying something inferior.